My name is Elliot Province, and I'm the Director of Collections here at Discovery Place Science. And right now we are in the backup house of the World Alive Aquarium. The American Museum of Natural History developed this awesome exhibit called Unseen Oceans. And the exhibit is uh, designed to be a traveling exhibit and has typically five to six living um, displays within the exhibit. And essentially we chose which ones we're going to uh, have here based on our existing collection plan and how we might be able to work those animals into our existing collection plan once the exhibit left. Zebra horn sharks, the Atlantic line seahorses, uh, the moon jellyfish, we had a common spider crab, the schooling fish. There was a, a room that featured um, plankton and drifters in the ocean and essentially these Moon jellyfish are something that we culture here, so it was really easy for us to take some of these jellyfish up to that exhibit. There was a section about uh, biofluorescence and how uh, Atlantic line seahorses have biofluorescence around their eyes. Um, and so we, we already had a display of Atlantic line seahorses. Yeah, basically those younger seahorses uh, will end up on display once our older population passes on. And the zebra horn shark is a really interesting one. It's a tropical species of horn shark. Um, and most of our aquarium is tropical, so it kind of fits into the same water quality parameters. Uh, zebra sharks are a smaller species of carpet shark, so they can breathe and they're benthic. They don't have to uh, move to breathe. They're not ram ventilated. Um, so they just kind of or something that we already wanted to have in our collection plan, and since they were calling for elasmobranchs to be in that particular exhibit, uh, that, that was our choice. There was a, something that came with the exhibit, it was a tank that was supposed to display schooling fish, so we, we kept uh, yellow-tailed fusiliers and green chromuses in that tank. Uh, those are both types of fish that we have already on display. Um, and to keep a school going every now and then, we kind of replenish the school. The moon jellyfish just got brought back downstairs, uh, so they're a part of our culture. Um, some of them will grow to be pretty large and get put on display. The spider crabs actually might get put on display in their own exhibit. They might get incorporated into our touch tank depending on their uh, temperament. They've been pretty pretty gentle so far. We were purchasing juvenile Japanese horn sharks and we did excitingly get one male and two females. Um, we only exhibited the largest of them in the Unseen Ocean exhibit, which is our large female. Um, we reunited that female with a smaller female and a small male and we're hoping to be able to breed them in the future. This would be really cool. Uh, we would be one of just a few institutions in the United States that have uh, breeding zebra horn sharks.